Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie if you're new here and today I have a Sunday reset clean with me. So if you have been here on my channel for a while, you would know that I love starting from the front of the house and working my way to the back, which ironically this house has no front and back if you ask me. It's kind of like an east to west. So I guess I would say I start on the west side, which is technically the front where you walk in. I start in our master bedroom and I just go ahead and do some tidying up. Fixing our bed is something I do every morning. Sundays we kind of like to lounge around a little bit late and so the bed gets fixed a little bit later in the day. Once the bed is fixed, the name of the game is get things back in their place. Typically on Sundays, if we're not going to church or we miss church because we're just too tired that day, I will clean in the mornings. But typically on a regular Sunday, I try to do this cleanup session in the evening. When I do a reset, whether it be Thursday on a Thursday or Friday or on a Sunday, I like to kind of tackle the chores that I don't get to during the week due to my cleaning schedule. And usually those are things like dusting or wiping off TVs or really just random chores, honestly, that I see need to be done, but I just don't get to it because I have a set schedule during the week. Okay, so this is something that you will see me do as I finish every single room and that is just get the essential oil diffusers going to freshen up the room. So once the bedroom portion of our area is done, we, I do go ahead and head into the bathroom and we're just going to do what is called a swish and swipe. So it's just kind of wiping everything down. It's not doing like my Monday cleaning routine. It's just a quick little wipe down just to get, you know, things looking nice and ready for the week and just a little freshen up in the bathroom. So once we are done with our bedroom, the master bedroom, we are going to go ahead and move into the living room area and there's usually, over the weekend there's usually always blankets just left over because the weekends we truly do use that time to kind of just rest, lounge around and get some quality time together. So a lot of cleaning up in the living room is always folding blankets. We're pretty adamant on make, making sure that the boys play in the room with their toys, don't really bring them out into the living room. So it's usually just like either wrappers from snacks or drinks and folding blankets.
Another thing that I really try to do once a week is kind of get this entryway area taken care of because we all tend to just leave stuff here and it kind of gets overwhelming and especially with the weather warming up like why are we still leaving a crap ton of jackets by the door but I guess in West Texas like you really never know. Another thing I tried to do as I finished up a room was place the D-Bot in, in each area for about 15 minutes. So heading in to the main bathroom, I did the, basically the same exact thing as the master bath. So I'm really not going to say too much here. Just kind of enjoy watching me clean. Alright you guys, once the bathroom was done, we're going to go ahead and head into the guest room and I know you're probably like, Allie, why are you cleaning the guest room? Well, because sometimes we try to let our kids have fun and that will never happen again because for one, they got the sheets and comforter all dirty and they also ripped apart my plant that was given to me when my dad passed, caused me to have a huge breakdown this day, but we kept it pushing, we got it done and then you'll see me turn to tend to the plant quite a bit because it really did just kind of tear me apart so yeah just doing the basics getting the sheets and stuff washed and then you'll see me come back hours later and get the bed fixed Okay, and here in this room, I hate to say it, but the dusting and wiping down in this room tends to get neglected because like I said, this is not a room that is used very often. So like the master bedroom, I did go ahead and wipe down the TV stand and the TV. I hope it means that you'll come home to me once you
Heading into the home office, this is a room that I myself tend to neglect because I'm the main one who uses this room. And it's because if I'm not doing YouTube, I really don't use the computer that much. And that's really the only reason that I'm in here now, considering we have a gym membership and that's where I work out. So this room also gets neglected with being dusted and wiped down. And so I did go ahead and take care of that this day. I also had been doing my Bible study in this room during this time. So I had made myself like a little pallet on the floor floor that you'll also see me clean up and fold but again like I said a lot of my reset days the name of the game is getting things in their place Heading into the boys room the only thing that I have to do in their room is refill their humidifier and get their essential oils going because they are responsible for keeping their room clean. The only time I will do anything a little bit extra is when I need to wash their comforters and get their beds remade. Heading into the dining area and the kitchen area, this is basically what I do on a daily basis because even at this is early in the day, so I'm gonna have to clean the table again. I'm gonna have to clean the floors and the counters in this area again. But I just thought I'd show it because it is something that I did this morning as I was already doing my cleaning is, you know, like just wipe everything down after every meal. And I feel like that's a big key to helping you keep a tidy home is to just clean up after yourself. I know it's probably easier said than done for a lot of people, but it's definitely helped me in my routine as a stay at home mom. Alright and now that we're in the kitchen you can kind of see like by the end of the week we're like you know what just leave everything on the counters there's leftovers that need to be thrown away and we're just going to go ahead and get all of that cleaned up and wiped down. And I am also getting a pot of water ready to go onto the stove so that way I can boil my mop water.
yourself Do you really think it's gonna help If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain Okay, so typically on a day where I'm just resetting or giving the house a refresh, I would not do a whole mopping routine. I would just Swiffer the house, but I was running low on Swiffer pads and I like to Swiffer the laundry room every morning. So it was kind of like, what, what am I going to want to do every morning? Just Swiffer or mop so i chose to mop this day so that way until i was able to go to the store and buy more swiffer pads i would have enough to mop up the laundry room every morning to clean up behind optimus so yeah that is pretty much it I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reset with me. This is something that I have not done before, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what are some things that you do on your reset days that are like your staples or even tips for things that you do to help keep your home a little more tidy. that this gave you guys some cleaning motivation for the weekend i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more and if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe <laughs>